and Gardens and today um, I am going to show you what I use to start my everything from seed. Uh, my seed station where I uh, grow everything, where I transplant, where I seed my flats uh, to get started. My heating mats, my germinating mats, and also my light system. Uh, what This all works together to grow from seed. And some of you might be interested because, you know, you might want to venture into growing your own plants. It's very rewarding to do, and I just love doing it. Especially, you know, we're in the fall, winter months now, and, and it's nice to do. So... Let's get started. I'm going to show you, first thing I'm going to show you is my seed starting station. Okay, I wanted to give you a little view from just a little distance. Uh, we, you know, purchased this station. This is a homemade seed starting station and it's got legs on it. Um, it's got like a funneling system tray and it's got a hole down the bottom where, you know, when I do my seeds, seeds or fill my pots, if it's any soil drops from my pots then it goes down into this bucket and it works really good but let me just show it to you here this is where I lay my flats I lay all my flats here and then I fill them up with dirt and then my seeds and I water them and everything but this is a great place you know it it doesn't get too dirty I mean all the dirt it stays right here okay and like I said this is homemade somebody made this and I just they didn't want it anymore so I you know I I purchased it so this comes loose here and as you can see, it's a funneling. It funnels down into the pail there. And, uh, you know, and from there, you know, you can use that soil again. So, but you lay your flats up here, you know, do your planting, do your transplanting, whatever it takes. Um, most of this is, you know, it's, it's made really well. I've had it for over, ten, well, 10 years. And um, it, just, it just works really good. And I'll give you kind of a distance view there. But this is my seed starting station, and this is where I do my work you know get started so I hope maybe you know this inspire you to make your own um, it seems to work really well and it lasts so okay the next thing we're going to talk about is my heating germinating mats and these are made out of a rubber and with wire coils in it okay we see I got a few flats on there right now and it's run by thermostatic controlled I have it at 70 which is a good germinating temp I have three of these which will hold uh, 15 total 10 by 20 flats so you know and you know I'm a German bulk I just I do a lot of seeds so I need the room uh, as you can see there's some little bit of a water spot but that doesn't damage the mat at all it still works great okay we'll go over here just to give you a look at the thermostat I have it setting on here and I have it right at 70, 72, somewhere in there. So it seems to be an ideal temp. It works great for germination. But I have them plugged in here and, you know, have a good extension cord. And we have this set up on an old, old um, pool table. Weren't using it anymore, but it works great for germinating, you know, laying out my flats and germinating. So that is where all the seed you know start germinating where they start their life right there on them heating mats I also want to say is you know I when I first started growing my own stuff and this wasn't for the greenhouse this was just personal I used to use a warm room top of fridge or someplace really warm to germinate my seeds but I found you know germination wasn't all that great so I purchased you know I started purchasing these heat mats and the germination is so much better that it was worth the investment so I just wanted to share that with you. If you're, if you're, if you're having poor germination inside, invest in, in a heating mat. You know, if if you can afford to do so, it's very much worth it. Uh, you'll have very, you'll have a lot more success with your, with bottom heat. So it just works well to germ. The next thing I want to talk about is my lighting systems, because you're going to need artificial lighting inside once you start your seeds. But we purchased, you know, this shelving uh, several years ago. We put it together, and now, you know, it. This particular, we did it in sections. I mean, this was something we just kind of put together. We didn't see it done anywhere, but we thought this would probably work. This will hold ten shop lights. Okay, ten shop lights each. Uh, they're sturdy. They work good. 
and you know we had to put we had to do some investment and but you know this will work forever I have three of these stations like this I have three of these and they hold you know ten ten lights a piece ten shop lights so you know I got quite a few lights around here I use the 40 watt bulbs uh, at least 3,000 lumens and this, that is a good lighting to get started with uh, one thing I will say is that starts your once your seeds have germinated get them under the lights right away as close as you can get them and then as the plants grow adjust your lighting up uh, I want to show you here we actually you know they've got s hooks on them right here and you can adjust these down as you need them okay so you know you can set up your own type of system you can purchase one uh, there's a lot of things on the market but start you know you'll probably be in a smaller scale than I am but you know I just want to say that this works great it's all wooden and uh, we you know at, when we put it together it took like I said it took some investment but we I needed a lot of lights to get started I do all of this downstairs I'm actually doing some seeding now but uh, we're in November but I do a lot of seeding I start in January for the next year's season and everything's got to be done inside it's too cold in our area to to uh, start my everything in the greenhouse uh, we start everything in here and once like come March uh, I, we start heating the greenhouse and everything down here will go out to the greenhouse when we start transplanting okay so that's kind of the process I use a lot of 10 by 20 flats and I'm sure you've seen them you can use what you want uh, you know peat pots peat, you know peat pots work great uh, plastic I have plastic pots because you know I have to produce a lot of plants so that works good for me and they don't dry out as fast so I like them so I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of get a little bit of insight on what my equipment and what I use uh, right now as you're looking you're seeing my succulents but um, if I go into this other room here you'll see all my other shelving uh, a lot of them you know they're off right now and I'll have to do some cleaning in here and I'll have to you know get these lights I might have to replace some lights and you know because they don't last forever I wish they would <laughs> but um, again you know I was just going to show that to you but if you enjoyed this video and if you want to follow you know what I'm doing in my gardening greenhouse you know I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel I mean I'm going to be updating so you guys take care and we will see you on the next video